Hello everyone, welcome in, welcome in. In this video, we're going to be talking about The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, and the decision to cut Rick's hand off now. Like at this point, why did they do it? Let's get into this. So first of all, I just want to say I am loving this series so far. The first episode was amazing. I'm kind of curious like what you think. I know uh, some people aren't too happy with Rick losing his hand. And then, you know, like the old school comic book fans, they're ecstatic about it. You know, they, they really like the idea to do it. You know, I, I kind of thought at first when it first, I mean, I knew it was going to happen. You know, I made the video saying that, you know, what, what I thought was going to happen. And I was kind of right, kind of wrong, you know, but I did have the fact that he was going to cut his own hand off. But um, I don't, you know, at, at first I didn't like it because he did it and then he got, shot with the taser and it was like like what was the point but you know the point was it was what he was willing to do to get back to michonne to get back to judith and even though he doesn't know about rj to get to rj and you know everyone else daryl everyone but um you know it just seemed at first it just kind of seemed like why why do that and then as the i watched the you know as i watched the rest of the episode and kind of the shock of it wore off you know it made a lot of sense because, you know, Rick has always been about doing whatever he had to do to to keep his family safe, to be with his family and to keep them safe. You know, the whole when you really think about it, while Andrew Lincoln was on The Walking Dead and Chandler Riggs was on The Walking Dead, the whole story of The Walking Dead was for Rick was about keeping keeping Carl safe after Laurie died. You know, I mean, and before Laurie died, it was keeping Laurie and, and uh, Carl safe. And and then the rest of the group, you know, kind of, I kind of feel like secondary. But Rick's purpose was to find his family from the very beginning and to keep them safe. And that's still what his purpose is. And he'll go to any lengths to do that. But let's just talk about the scene because the scene was amazing, you know? I mean, Andrew Lincoln is a fabulous actor and I thought he did such a good job in this opening. I mean, you know, you have to, you also have to get over the, the, the hype or the high of seeing Rick on screen again. I mean, that was, a, it, it was just amazing for me. I've been wanting to see this, and I'm sure for you too, if you're watching this video, you're just the biggest fan as I am. So you've been wanting to see this for forever, you know, for years, you've been wanting to see Rick and where he's been. And, and this was just the start of that. And seeing Rick do this, I mean, it wasn't a surprise. I mean, it was kind of shocking, but when you know the character, it really wasn't, you know, he went right into slaughtering these walkers, you know, uh, the Rick badass way, you know, it brought some it kind of brought me back to when Carl was shot and in the, and, uh, when the walkers stormed, uh, when they got through the, through the wall in Alexandria and Rick just went out and started killing the walkers. And then the other, the, uh, the other people from Alexandria started helping him and they just took out everything. I mean, that was, that's kind of like, it was kind of made me think of that when Rick was killing these walkers on this uh, mission that they're on in the night. But I think, I think Andrew Lincoln did a fabulous job with the acting, like the build up to doing it, you know, how he was kind of like psyching himself up. It was just so good. And then the, the injured and uh, kind of panicked Rick that we saw, he just did, the whole thing was just done so well. Andrew Lincoln is an amazing actor. I guess it's, that's what I'm trying to get to, but I'm, I'm sure you you know that, and I'll quit rambling, and we'll talk about what Andrew Lincoln had to say about why they did this and how he feels about it. I found an article on comicbook.com where he's he's talking about that, so let's take a look at that. And again, this is coming from uh, Andrew Lincoln with a, in an interview with comicbook.com. He says, we had to explain why Rick never returned. This is a guy that would do anything to return. So what is the most extraordinary act or effort that he would put himself through in order to try to get back to his beloved? He says, I just bullied everyone into submission, he adds, admitting the fact that he faced pushback. And there was quite a lot of con conversations, particularly with AMC, with people going, now, Andy, we love the idea, but are you really sure about this? Because, But I just thought, this is the time to do what the comic book did and honor that. I've been trying to pitch this for years, and everybody was just shoot shouting me down. According to showrunner Scott M. Gimple, making this work on TV required a commitment to figuring it out. Whatever problems might come of it, I think it was important as a comic reader to see it because it helped set the tone of what this world is that these crazy things can happen. So if you follow The Walking Dead like I do, you've known for a long time that Andrew Lincoln wanted to do this. And, you know, and I agree with him. This just seemed the right time to to do that, to, to do the hand bit, because 
like he said, he wanted to honor the comic, and it shows what he was willing to put himself through to get back to Michonne and everyone else. Um, so I've told you what I thought. I've told you what Andrew Lincoln, who plays Rick, had at what he thought about it. Now I'm kind of curious, what, what do you have to think about it? Did you enjoy the scene? Did you enjoy the acting? Do you think uh, Rick should have lost his hand here? Does it make sense to you? Let me know in the comments. And uh, that's really all I have for you in this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please consider giving me a sub. And I will see you guys in the next one.